In 12 years of covering live events and making TV shows, our cameras have caught some amazing achievements and memorable moments. I had a back <laughs> Uh, hey, right now I just want to cry, but I like play with you. It's fun. <laughs> Got it. It's mine. <laughs> I just want to know if I won one hand in the last 60 hands. No way. Here's the top five. There's always a buzz in the poker room when a famous face sits down to play, and we always get excited when a star goes deep in a major tournament. At number five, sporting legend Ronaldo takes on Poker's Elite in the 2015 PCA and makes quite the debut. Okay, I mean. Is that a call? Yeah, okay, a call. call. Ronaldo calls all in, and he is a huge dog here. Well, Ronaldo, it was nice having you here, unless you do something terrible to this boy. Lockhart, a seven to three favorite almost. Sergio Garcia rooting for the underdog. Ooh, flush drawer on the flop. Well, that should pep him up a little. I know how I'm cheering for. I know how I'm cheering for. Huge Chris Lockhart fan. Ronaldo now has 12 outs. He needs a diamond or a deuce to survive. The river card. It's a deuce! Wow. Wins with a pair of deuces. That shouldn't even count. <laughs> Whoa. A pair of twos? Heart, heart attack. <laughs> oh. Ronaldo was eventually eliminated in 26th place, cashing for 42 grand. From idol to hero. Former New York police officer Mike Kozowski was a first responder on 9-11. The TV show Million Dollar Challenge gave him the chance to win a seven-figure score by beating Daniel Negreanu. Heads up. Action will begin on Daniel. And the action's here at three to call. King four off suit. We're going all in. All in. Moving all in. This could be it. Mike looking out at seven five. Why not? You're calling? Yeah, of course. Right. He makes the call! I got one good one. I got a king. Okay, you got a 7-5. Yeah. 14 total is what I got. You beat me once with this exact hand, the 7-5. Daniel remembering the hand that turned the match earlier. If Mike Kosowski gets lucky again, he is a millionaire. To the flop. There's a king. king. Oh, now you need an eight. That would be sick. I got a king. He needs an eight. An eight. An eight, and it's over. An eight, and it's over. Come on. Remember, Mike caught the one eight left in the deck earlier tonight to knock out Brian Barbosa. If he catches an eight again, this match is over. The turn. Six. That's a good one for me. No eight, back in action. So Daniel in good shape to double up and work his way right back into this match. Only an eight will give Mike the million. <laughs> Your heart's gotta be pumping right now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we go to the river. Eight, eight, oh, and Mike oh wins! Oh my gosh! Kazowski at three. More Negreanu as he and Phil Ivey face off in the final of Shark Cage season two. It's like the Pacquiao Mayweather fight. Yeah, that's what this is. That's what it's like? I do like Floyd. Let's move. Check, check, check. That don't look like Floyd to me. Huh? No. The first and only time these poker greats have played heads up in a tournament. You're on a nice run there, Jerome. Thanks, kid poker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like playing with you. It's fun. You're enjoying it's a lot more it? You're enjoying now, it now I'm enjoying it way yeah. more. I'm all in. Phil shoves! I call. And Daniel calls! Set. 
Set's good. This could be it. Oh, I win. Oh no, you need a six. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't see that part. <laughs> but I'm in good shape right now. I'm ahead. Best shape of his life. Oh, you never know. Yeah. Phil needs a six. You don't want to win like that anyway, catching a six. You, huh? you don't care, right? Just however it happens. <laughs> that would be dirty. He, he, won't, he doesn't want to win that way. He'd throw it back. If a six comes, he'd just throw it back. I sure would. He'd be like, you know what? No. I don't, I don't want it. I, I, can't, I can't win like that. Bad for my reputation. The river card is a 10. Uh, Daniel right. takes it down. One and oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Good game. At two, even more Negranu. In 2013, he made the final table of the EPT9 Grand Final alongside Steve O'Dwyer, Johnny Lodden, and former champs Jason Mercier and Jake Cody. It's a lineup many still consider to be the greatest EPT final table in history. This is the greatest final table that poker has ever seen. I follow a lot of poker around the world and I haven't seen a final table be stacked in anything. To be proud of the EPT champion at the grand final, this is once in a lifetime. And it did not disappoint. Uh, where's my money? And while we didn't crown our first two-time champ, Steve O'Dwyer did get his long overdue victory. It's an eight on the river. It's quads for O'Dwyer that see him triumph here in Monaco and win the EPT9 Grand Final main event. It's Steve. Cheers. Oh, what about mowing down the sickest final table that's ever been assembled? That's, I don't know. I have no words for that either. It's just, I can't believe I won. And we're sticking with the EPT for the greatest PokerStars moment of all time. After nine years and nearly 100 main events, we'd never seen a two-time winner on the tour. Woo! Until Victoria Corrin Mitchell, the first woman to win an EPT trophy, made the final table of EPT 10 San Remo. Pandaro just calls, playing the aces deceptively. Oh boy, two pair for Vicky. Stop it. Vicky now a huge favorite. Roughly a three to one favorite over Fundero. And from Fundero's perspective, he is an absolute monster here. And he's really underrepped it as well. So he's going to convince himself that. I mean, Vicky can be betting anything. Yeah, exactly. He does raise. And with authority. A check raise from Giacomo Fundero. This is not a time where you want to make a rookie mistake, realize the guy's got more chips, or it's not your turn to act. He's just kind of overthinking everything right now. Yep. Vicky just called. We're going to the turn. It's a 10. So Fundero now picks up a gut shot to a straight. And this board's starting to get kind of dangerous for Queen Jack. Now, we know that she's got a lock on the hand for a moment, but against Ace King, she's not doing so hot. Well, Fundero's equity hasn't changed since the flop. Fundero can hit a set. He can counterfeit Vicky's hand with a 7 or a 10. Remember, he check-raised the flop, but he does not continue to bet on the turn. He checks to Vicky. And Vicky must bet here, because even though she has two pair, there are cards that can come on the river that she will not like. I think he has to make a decision now. I think he's going to be shoving a lot of the time here. He, he shoves! And Vicky calls! No tank this time. And we are on the verge of making history on the European Poker Tour. Vicky Corrin gets it in ahead. What a sweat. Giacomo Fundero needs an ace, king, 10 or 7. He has 12 outs. Any other card on the river. And we have our first two-time EPT champ. Just an unreal tense moment right now. If you're ever going to pray, Vicky, Easter Sunday is the day to do it. The entire poker world calling for a deuce. No ace, no king, no ten, no seven. It's a oh! brick! It's a brick! <laughs> Vicky Curran has done it! She is the first player in the history of 10 seasons of the European Poker Tour to win two main event titles. And I cannot think of a better ambassador for the game who reaches so many facets of life 
to have accomplished this task you play very good. Congratulations. in front of a huge audience, maybe one of the biggest we've ever had on EPT Live. And just look at the emotion on her face. She doesn't even believe it's over. An incredible achievement yet to be equaled. Well, those are the five moments that got our juices pumping, and there are more countdowns to be seen at PokerStars.tv.